Hello, I just wanted to show you some truffles I'm making up really quick. Here's um, chorizo and eggs mixed up already, ready to go into the waffle iron. And then over here, I'm jump you over to the waffle iron. We've got one ready to come out. Oh, and I know people have a real fit having a, a knife and a waffle iron, but I didn't even poke through. Here's my truffle coming out. This one is bacon and egg and cheese. This one over here is chorizo, egg and cheese. Here's your chorizo, it's about four carbs. And then going into the waffle iron, I don't know if I could do this holding the, the bowl, but we'll go into the waffle iron over here. It's preheated, I've already run a couple. I'm just gonna dump it, all of it. I don't have the cute little dash everybody has. And uh, so there's your chorizo. Sorry if I moved you off camera. I'm not touching any of the Teflon. Please don't worry about any uh, scrapes on my Teflon or using metal. And I'm just going to close it. That's going to run for a minute. And here I'm videotaping again in the wrong landscape. Not normal for me. Sorry about that. You're going to have the black lines at the beginning of this video because I don't know how to edit. Come back over here. And I don't think I can crack an egg and, oh, I guess I can break it in there. I guess I can. I don't see any shell. Good to go. I don't have a good stand for my camera. Basically, I'm just whipping up the egg. It's just a quick pork whip. Um, doesn't have to be long. So about like that. I'm going to add in my cheese that I've got, and I know some people will say this isn't 100% keto because of the potato starch in it, because it's already the pre-shreds. I'm doing this for my cousin who's just beginning keto, so it's going to be okay. A start is better than nothing, right? So start where you are, be where you are, whatever, until you know better or realize your body doesn't do well with some of these. I'm going to add in some of this Parmesan cheese, good enough for probably one more that I'm going to do. So I just guesstimate um, this is an 8 ounce package. So 8 ounces is one cup of cheese. Um, and um, I'm using less than a half a cup of cheese probably because I'm adding in cut up chorizo or bacon bits or you know you add whatever. I had some ham I did before that was great because then I dipped it in like a pizza sauce. These you could do with like a salsa on top. But the cool thing is, I'm making these up ahead of time. She can store in our freezer, kind of like Eggos. And um, it's a great breakfast on the go. She can heat it up either in her toaster oven or in her um, regular old-fashioned toaster if you kept yours. I think I got rid of mine when I went keto. My mom kept hers, which is great because take them upstairs. She puts them in her freezer or fridge, and she has them later heated up in the toaster. They, I, they probably would be okay in the microwave, but I guarantee you they're not going to be as crisp and good in the microwave as they would be. They're totally, you can hold them. I picked this up. You can totally hold it, and you can break this in half, make it a sandwich. Usually half of a half is good for me, two quarters makes a sandwich. Um, so I'll break these into quarters, store them in each little Ziploc bag. For now, I've got them cooling over here on the Silpat just because it's easiest and I'm keeping them separated. These are my bacon ones, these are my chorizo. I don't know if I'll have time to make any of these uncured kielbasa ones, but that would also be a good one. Or you could just make them totally plain. Egg and cheese is, is good on its own and make them up. You can have them as your cheesy buns for whatever, sandwiches, anything you want to do, something on the go. So I think this is ready, yes. Uh, no, I'm gonna go further. So you can see Right here, it's still kind of eggy. Some of it bled over, I'll clean that up. She's got a nice little tray on the outside of her waffle iron, very expensive waffle iron here. But I'm trying to show you, it doesn't really matter which waffle iron you have, use what you have at home. I've even done this on a George Foreman to run a test one night and that worked great too. Um, sorry about that. So anyway, I'm gonna repost this over my chili cheese dog one, or I'll probably leave that one out there and then re-add this one and direct people to come to this one for the type of filming. Um, I'll have to look at it and see, and I don't have any internet right now. <clears throat> so when I load this, I'll have to look and see what it looks like viewing on my TV or whatever. Sorry, no music, because like I said, there's no internet, and this is my music. I'm on my cell phone. Um, not ideal, but 
it's how I videotape because I'm, I just started doing this and it's very new. Um, appreciate all the comments and the feedbacks and the help I've gotten from my viewers. I think somebody, you know, I like constructive criticism. Some of them just saying bad video or thumbs down isn't real helpful to me, but um, whatever, however you want to do it. I wanted to comment, you know, bad comment <laughs> to the person that said bad video. So I'm not sure why they say it was a bad video. Was it bad because my filming, what I was filming, my voice, I don't know what it is, but that's okay. To each their own opinion. Uh, sorry, I got little crumbs on my hand. So anyway, this is probably done by now. Yep, so I'm going to take this out real quick, add it to my other, and I'm just going to poke barely through, just enough to get it out, because I do not want to touch that Teflon. It is not my waffle iron. But you can see how sustainable they are. Here are the crispy. Beautiful, and they're little hot, little chorizo. I've never seen them like this. My chorizo has always been more like a ground beef, but you know, very seasoned. So this is kind of exciting. But um, my waffle iron is ready again. I'm gonna pour in the next one. Let's see how good one-handed I am again. This seemed to work last time, so. Yep, it can be done. It's not perfect, but it works. I just kind of spread a little bit. And the waffle iron will do the rest. Um, the cute little dashes are fun, but as you can see, totally not necessary. I'd love to have the dash just for the fact that it is cute um, and they make all your sandwiches and everything look good. So anyway, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and everything. And um, we'll be back in the kitchen next week when I'm back at home in Spokane and have a little bit better setup, but this will do for now. Thanks. Bye.